First question is from Twin Sanity Fitness. How do you practice bracing your core for lifting? Oh, yeah. This is actually uh, quite important. Um, and uh, we tend to do this pretty naturally, usually, whenever we're trying to lift something heavy. So sometimes you'll hear trainers say, draw in your midsection. Mm -hmm. Not a good idea. Um, really, what you're trying to do is you're trying to brace your core. And the way I used to tell my clients to do this is, like, imagine I'm about to punch you in the yeah, stomach. Exactly. You know, like, so you, you just brace it like that. Sometimes I fake it. And, uh, yeah, there it is right there. That's just what keep is. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here's a little, uh, a little bit more detail, right? So before, especially before you do a heavy lift, you take a deep breath in down into your core. So take a full diaphragmatic breath, breathe in, and then hold your breath and then brace. And then, then you do your lift. Then after you do your lift, then take a couple breaths and then repeat it. And what that does is it, it dramatic, that breath inside your diaphragm plus your core bracing uh, dramatically increases the stability around uh, your spine. Um, now, when you wear something like a belt, your core is going to brace totally different. It's going to push out against the belt rather than bracing. Uh, in now, itself. did you guys have specific uh, exercises that you like to do to teach somebody how to... to? Because here's the thing, too, that sometimes people uh, misunderstand when they when they brace their core is holding your breath. Mm. Sometimes hold, they think holding your breath... Oh, especially is if you're doing reps. Right, right. right. So were, were there exercises that you guys like to teach? I mean, obviously, the fake like you're going to punch them in the stomach to get that I idea across, but did, did you like, like the, the four-point drawn maneuver or vacuum yeah, exercises? Like, right. what were Almost the, like vacuum, like a cat-cow where then I would get to neutral spine and then they would like just tighten it up but also like go through the breathing of it while being tight. Yeah. And you know, like little like external stimulus to make sure that they, I could feel that like their abs are tight. Yeah. Uh, but also having them sit on a stability ball with their hands out. Uh, and this is just for like the rotational part of stability. Mm. Uh, so I would, I would kind of push on their hands with them relaxed versus then now brace. And then so it's like they got to focus on that uh, staying rigid and they feel the difference right away. Yeah. For some people that was like this light bulb goes off and you're like okay yeah. uh, for me the most effective way to because because you can teach people how to brace and what you need to do but then there's a difference between that and actually bracing while lifting because it, there's a bit of a skill involved and what that feels like the best thing i've ever done for that was heavy carries getting people to do like a farmer walk with a pair of dumbbells and teaching them to brace their core while taking steps while being able to breathe and with the farmer walk, you kind of gives you that feedback. You've got the heavy weights or the dumbbells in your hands. If you're loose with your core, you start to sway a little bit. You feel a little bit of a twist. And so it teaches them how to brace while doing a movement. So that was mm -hmm. one of my, one of my favorite ways to do that.